The victim in this beating case believes that all but one of the suspects got off on community service because they are white and he is black. And that is why we approached District Attorney Stevens Apollo for answers. Here's the Port Authority surveillance video capturing the encounter between Kevin Lockett and his five attackers at the T-Station in May. He is thrown onto the T-Tracks. Then he is punched in the face and head relentlessly by Ryan Kyle. And the others in the group walk away with Lockett's cooler. All of the men worked out plea agreements with the district attorney's office and received community service, all except Kyle. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 requested an interview with District Attorney Steven Zapala to ask why was the group given community service. But this is all Zapala would say through a written statement. Quote, the offers were explained in detail to both the arresting officer and Mr. Lockett, and we are satisfied that the dispositions involving these five defendants are appropriate. The victim, Kevin Lockett, finds the plea deals offensive and racially motivated. There's no punishment. The, the, the divided, the way they would look at it, if five black guys jump one white guy, nobody would be going home. Nobody would get 100 hours of community service. As for the attacker, Zapala said this, we fully expect that the most culpable defendant, Ryan Kyle, who was the lone participant in the assault of Mr. Lockett, will face a sentence in the state penitentiary. And Kyle still awaits his sentencing hearing, which is scheduled for May. Reporting live from downtown, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Sheldon.